Kelsey Bear, can you believe the big day is finally here? All of the preparation is about to pay off and come to fruition. We are about to be married. Our story, which began many years ago, is about to have a new chapter added to it. I'm so excited for the years to come and for the addition of many more chapters to our already lengthy and interesting book. I'm so thankful that God brought us back together and I'm so excited for what he has in store for us. Kelsey and Josh, you have taken your vows of marriage before God and in the presence of your family and your friends. As a minister of the gospel and by the authority committed to me for this very purpose, I do now declare you to be husband and wife. You are no longer two, therefore be one body. So then what God has united cannot be divided. And you may kiss your wife. So if we should walking to work and this guy's like oh yeah there's this new girl that just started Kelsey you know y'all probably be really good friends like she went to a and in my head I'm like no we won't be friends like Arkansas and a and no anyway yes blue pig and they're like yeah she graduated in three and a half years like she started working two weeks ago and I'm like oh my gosh who is this genius and so I'm a little intimidated, but I walk up and see her, and she just has this warming, welcoming smile that I'm like, okay, I love her. Next thing I know, we're just like best friends. There wasn't even that get to know you period. It was just like, bam, I'm spilling my whole life to her. So when I would finally hush and let her talk, she would just start smiling and talk about this guy, Josh. And I'm like, oh, cool who's Josh, and so she just smiled and she talked about him like, okay, I gotta meet him. And you know, I hold her high on this pedestal and you know, I just, he's gotta be this awesome guy. I'm judging pretty hardcore on him. And of course, he's just like Kelsey. You just can't help but love him too. And All I could ask for, for this girl who got me through adulting, basically. <laughs> we both learned how to become adults together going from that cushy call of life to the real world. He's just perfect and he takes care of you and makes you laugh and smile. Every time I just see y'all together, you're just so radiant and that's all I could ask for. I could go on and on, but we have a party to get back to. So cheers to y'all in this beautiful wedding.
Josh and I have met in second grade at a sleepover at Jordan Hoover's house. So Hoover's, thank you. Really for the past 11 years, I've gotten to be best friends with a guy who always put our friendship first. He would pick me up all the time since I never had a car. He always wanted to include me in everything and bring me along for the ride for whatever it was. Like, Josh even gave me, like, the courage to ask out my wife, so I even say th thank you for that. I, I might have waited, like, till five or six months after he gave me the courage, but still, I give him the credit. And Kelsey, I wish I could go back in time to, like, tell high school Josh, like, don't worry, you end up with Kelsey in the end, because, like, you were always his dream girl. You were at the top of the list, his biggest crush always. So he's liked you for a pretty long time. <laughs> and Josh, I've had a lot of great memories in my life for the past 11 years, and you're pretty much there for all of them. And I'm just glad to be part of this one for you. Kelsey Bear, our story started so many years ago. Fate brought us to the same elementary school, same middle school, same high school, and even the same college. I will never forget the feeling I got when you walked into my class your last semester and sat next to me. Thank goodness you reached out to me and we rekindled our flame. If it was not for you, then we would not be where we are today. I, Josh, take you, Kelsey, to be my loving wife. I, Kelsey, take you, Josh, and I promise before God and these witnesses to love you and be faithful to you and to Jesus Christ. As Christ's spirit enables me, I will be your faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may God grant unto you his peace in your going out and in your coming in in your lying down, in your rising up, in your labor, in your leisure, in your laughter, and in your tears until you come to stand before Jesus. In that day in which there is no sunset and no dawning, amen. My friends, Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Barton.